In this video, let's take a look at how we can store data inside of plugins. We already saw how you can store data in show and user variables inside of Granimate 2, but there's actually an even simpler way of storing data inside of your plugins. Let me show you how. All right, first let's take a look at the code here. And the first thing we see in the sample code is that we have a locally defined counter variable. And what we can see also here is that whenever this plugin is executed, it increases this counter by one and then outputs this new value to the console window. You can probably already guess how this is going to behave. So let's just uh, copy and paste this code over to our show file and then let's test this thing out. All right, so store data and plugin. Store data in plugin. Plugin. Perfect. And now I'm executing it a few times. All right. So as we can see now, whenever we run our plugin, the value of the counter is increased and output to the console. So in a nutshell, this is how we can store data and plugins. We can simply define local variables in our plugins code. And unless we save a new version of this plugin code, or reload the plugin engine, or modify these variables from functions within this plugin that they were defined in, then these variables won't change their values. This method can be safely used since the variables that you define inside of your plugins as local variables will only be local to this plugin. So if we now, for example, enter lua.gma feedback and try to access this counter variable, let's just take a look at that. So I'm going to activate the command mode. So now what we're essentially trying to do is just access this counter variable, right? So counter and, um, you know, it correctly complains about not being able to find that variable. Um, and <laughs> this might be maybe a little bit confusing in this case because it doesn't really complain, right? Um, it just displays nil. I mean, what we see here then is that Lua outputs nil. And that always means that it either accesses a variable that uh, wasn't assigned a value yet, or that it simply doesn't find this variable. So even though this variable um, that we defined here, the counter, is accessible from within our plugin, um, you know, it's not accessible from the outside. And that's exactly what makes this very, very safe to use. And that's essentially how you can store values inside of your plugins. Keep in mind that these values are probably lost when you reboot your console and they're also set back to their original value whenever you hit save in the plugin editor and if you reload the plugin engine. For these cases where that's not acceptable, be sure to use show and user variables from Granime 2 instead. But in general, I find this um, to be very, very useful. And what you can also do with many plugins is actually create some sort of initiation function that you run once and then you know you're good to go.